maybe it will reboot. Yep. So, sorry about oh, that. don't worry about it. I'm sorry. Don't mean to make you nervous. Okay. Wi-Fi menu, we added Wi-Fi direct setting. So, you make the device name right here and Wi-Fi direct turn on. And another device, like this one. Oh, no, no, wait. It takes some time. You should turn off Wi-Fi or before. Get your Wi-Fi direct. It has the same name, but it's okay. See you. In comparison, how much brighter it is, so it's within 700. Okay, so we're uh, we're setting the two of these phones up yeah. with the Wi-Fi Direct. Right. Um, is that just making it so they talk yeah. to each other? They can scan in. Yes. They can see each other like this. So now they see each other. Ah, this one is okay. this and this one is this. Perfect. So okay. You provide, you connect with, with push button or pin code you can select. Okay. Push button and here. Connection request is here. So it should be timer here. Two minute timer. A two minute timer? Yeah. Okay. After then, if it accept, then it is waiting timer, not two minute timer. It is for. So, so this is the processing to the connectivity. Now group owner negotiation is done. So it is group owner and it is connected to all first. Okay. And then it is distributing IP address to the client. All right. And it is waiting to put to the IP address and wait some time. It will be connected. And then once connected. this is connected, uh, yeah. then what will they be able to do? Then we have application for the Wi-Fi cast. You can see with each other. This is the connectivity problem here. Okay. So what you can see here, the cast two. So if you right. want to share some file, let's add a photo like this, and want to share, select the device and select the file. Oh, sorry. Select the file and send. Then it will be sent to here like this. Oh, it works properly. Okay. So it's sending a file. Mm -hmm. Now, when uh, when two devices talk to each other, let's say uh, like the phone and the TV would be able to talk to each other. Is that right? Uh, yes. Same phone way. and the talk, phone and the video. Okay. It, because there's no Wi-Fi direct phone or Wi-Fi direct PC or TV, uh -huh. so it will be connected with the uh, legacy legacy way. Okay. Do you want to see? Sure. So you can see this one. Direct LG Wi-Fi Direct. So you have to connect in the legacy way. Okay. So it so seems like sharing files is the big thing about this. Uh, um, but is no it file sharing application between PC and phone now? So when the PC is connected, then you can share, you can you can stream the video through the DNA. Okay. So if the streaming is so, the DNA, then you can see like this. Okay. All right. So basically, it acts as both file sharing and DLNA, yeah, essentially. Right. It's the with, same with, technology. Yeah. Okay. And it just cuts out the middleman, like you were saying before, where you don't have to worry about going through the router. It just connects them directly. Right. Right. Okay. All right. That sounds good. So, another, Thank you. Another good thing is it does not need to use the Wi-Fi Direct, both of them. Only one support the Wi-Fi Direct, then legacy device can connect to the Wi-Fi Direct device. Okay. Yeah, it's very good. Point.